Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsid here with another tutorial on CrocoBlock. Today we will discuss how you can build relationship between CPT and CCT and display the related custom content type on front end. So let's start. All right. If you are following me on this channel, you might know that currently I'm working on a ticketing and support system where I have I will open the PowerPoint presentation. I have tickets which are custom post type CPT and inside tickets I have multiple feedbacks which are custom content type or CCT. So what I want to do, I want to show all CPT which are related to the current CPT. If you go to the back end, you can see the tickets which are CPT and feedback which are CCT. First thing you have to do is build relationship. Go to relations. I already have the relationship. Just want to show you the settings. So what is the parent object? It's tickets. And what is the child object? feedback what is the relationship type one to many means one ticket has multiple feedback you can allow create a new child from parents and all those settings and click on update relations now if we go to our feedbacks you might see some feedback let me create one and saved here I can see the ID is 48 okay now I will go to tickets and suppose I open this one if you scroll down to the bottom you will see the connected children feedback okay right now it has one connected I will connect another one also which is 48 now I have two feedback or two CCT connected to this CPT. Let's click on update. We go to the front end and I open the CPT. Okay, so this is CPT. I have all the details, but I don't have the reply or the feedback. For that, first thing you have to create the listing item. So we go to Jet Engine listing. You can click on add new. Instead of post, we choose custom content type. What is the type? Feedback. We specify a name and create. I already have one feedback. Let me show you the preview. Okay, so I have feedback with the author name and the date which was publish okay pretty straightforward now the most important thing is to display these with the help of query builder now you might know that internal query builder is now absolute we cannot use it as croco block suggests you should use query builder so we have to create a new query add new let's say the name should be feedback listings and we will apply it on custom content type it will ask for the type so we want to apply on feedback we are not touching number offset or status even order the most important thing is query okay so we want to apply the query on item id the comparison should be equal to the value of what so click on this sign these are dynamic macros we want to display related uh, we want to display related post or related items not posts sorry related items okay so it will ask for the relationship so we have a relationship ticket to feedback from which object we want to fetch for child object and the initial object should be current object id which means that if i open a cpt the id should match the child id of the 
CP, CCT. So it will show a related item. Now a tip here, if you want to build relationship between users and CCT, the, the whole scenario, the whole uh, methodology is same except this point, okay? So here if you want to display, for example, you have users and users has a lot of data which is stored in CCT. On the single user page, if you want to display the listings, you can apply all the setting except the last one, okay? So the initial object ID should be from current user ID, not current object ID. Current object ID we use for CPT. So in that case, current user ID. Okay, let's save it. Apply and add query. Now we create the query. We create the listing. Now the final step is to display on single CPT. Let's go to element template theme builder. Here we have single ticket. Let's edit the page. Let's drag a H3 or something. Replies from department. H4 and let's give some margin on the top. And I will drag a listing widget. Okay. Listing for feedback. Okay, feedback. All right and here i need one column so it looks clean down you know now these parameters uh, you no longer to use that because it is uh, not recommended by crocoblock so we go directly for custom query we create a feedback query we'll apply that and let's update now if you go back to our dashboard and open tickets and let's open this ticket so how many we have two feedback here 48 and 46 let's refresh this page no data was found is it correct tickets and Muhammad no data was found no data was found okay maybe we are making some mistakes Okay, so our query is not feedback, it's feedback listing, the one we created right now. Let's update it and refresh. So we got our two new replies. So these are CCT and this is CPT. So you have one to many relationship here. Uh, let's create a new one to make sure it works fine. add let's go to tickets and we will assign the cpt 49 connect and update let's refresh and we got the new ccd which is uh, sort by date so we can see the recent on the top now here i want to mention something this is not a good practice to add CCT from the back end unless required. We always need a form here. If we submit and it will go to the C to the respective relationship. And now, as of now, it is not possible. There is some technical difficulties. I already contacted CrocoBlock support. They gave me some code also. I tried with various scenario, various methodology, but it's not working so far. Maybe in future we are able to add relationship from the front end form so if you have any question uh, please write in the comments thank you so much